Now then everyone, so just wanted to show you my RAM air intake that I've made. You can just see there. Comes out there. Um, so I'll whip off the uh, front bumper and I'll show you what I've made. Yeah. So this is the new intake, or the modified intake, shall I say. A little funnel there, and then it goes up under the wheel arch up there. And then this is the way the airbox lives. So originally, originally this pipe, this pipe was further up, and that fit onto there. That went round the front, and then here there was like a funnel piece that went up. And that was on there, and then that was. Well, it's gonna fall down. That was on there like that. Wait, drop that one out. So yeah, quite a complicated inlet system. This was covered in like a wrap, even though that's like a foam membrane there. And basically the idea that I wanted to do was simplify the intake and hopefully get some ram air so that when I'm going 50 mile an hour there's actually some pressure coming in into the airbox and helping the turbo. This is the airbox. Um, ignore the uh, duct tape in there, that's a, a long story, I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> so the airbox slots into there and I'm just running a standard filter and that's the top of the box. Put that on there. Grab that. That's roughly how it all goes together. So we'll pull that back off. So yeah, I've been watching some of those uh, Gail Banks diesel performance videos, and he talks about like just getting every little horsepower you can from the engine. Um, so my idea is to just help the engine breathe. Um, I'm going to put a pressure sensor in the airbox after the filter, which is over here. Uh, that one there. So I'm going to fit this this pressure sensor, boost pressure gauge, uh, after the air filter, before the turbo, and. I want to see if there is any vacuum in there, so it should read zero, should the gauge, but if it went to like a minus 0.1 or whatever, then that would indicate that there's actually restriction, um, and I need to get a different air filter. But it's all just playing about and experimenting, so that's what I'm going to do with that. And I do not want any open air filters in under the bonnet, hot air is bad, so that's why I've gone for all this ducting. So this is a 3D printed funnel, just a push fit, just to help guide a bit of air into the nozzle or inlet. So it is a bit rough. I could polish it, but it's fine. It's 3D printed. It's good for me. And then up there is an adapter, which is one of these. So this is just a, an extension piece, and it just extends the standard nozzle, standard inlet. Keep on saying, call it a nozzle extends it down so I made one of those and then just a little very simple bracket uh, not pretty but it does the job it's aluminium so it's not going to rust stainless steel bolts so that's the air inlet so I'm going to put it all back together and then um, there is a um, on the manifold air flow meter not manifold <coughs> on this on the math mass airflow there's a temperature sensor I believe so when I'm doing my data logs on the OBD reader um, I've got air temperature there and then I've got down here this little plug goes to this sensor here which is my um, uh, outside air temperature and typically there is one degree difference between the air going into the turbo and the air at the front of the car so one degree 
typically looking at my data logs so I'm hoping that with this ram air that the temperature on this will be the same as the temperature at the front of the car we shall see um, so I'll do that and then I'm going to get like I said fit that in the near future and then we can see if, uh, if there are any benefits to doing that to the airbox um, if uh, yeah that's it in a nutshell so if there's a vacuum in there I'm going to change that airbox somehow sometime in the future but uh, yeah that's it for now so I just wanted to show you that and if anyone's interested so uh, stay tuned